If you are a Michael Jackson fan, this video is for you. And if you're miserable and a hater, this video is not for you. I wanted to say thank you very much to all the Michael Jackson fans that supported my videos. If you haven't watched them yet, there's a link below. You can see all the videos. So thanks again. You guys give me the string to make more videos like this. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome to my video today. And this shirt is going to show you where we're going next. Uh-oh, wrong shirt. Yeah, we're going to off the wall, the location. Before we go to the wall, I wanted to show you this. Those are the famous Westlake recording studios. 8447 Beverly Boulevard. Michael Jackson most likely would come here, the back alleyway, park his limousine right here, and walk through this little door. How many times did Michael walk through this door here? Or better to say, who else walked through these doors? Just to name a few celebrities that went through this door. Of course, Michael Jackson, Britney Spears, Bruce Springsteen, Lionel Richie, Jenny Kravitz, Justin Timberlake, Madonna, and Mariah Carey, and the list goes on and on and on. Me being around this area right here, they have cameras right here. So one guy came out and asked me what I was doing here, and I told him I was doing a video for YouTube, and he confirmed that this is the door, and he told me, you can actually come here and do a tour. So you have to call in first. I tried to do that. Maybe it works. They have two different recording studios here, number A and number B. And in number A, they recorded the Thriller album. This is the Beverly Center. I drove here a hundred times. I never knew that the recording studio is right here. And right here is where they recorded the Off The Wall album. And of course, the number one best-selling album of all the time in 1982, Thriller. They did not use any of the walls from the building for the cover album. I know what you're thinking. Hurry up with the video, we wanna see the wall. But actually before we go there, I wanted to show you this. This is the Michael Jackson Auditorium in Hollywood. And this is not the wall. This is a piece of the German wall for my hometown country. Welcome to the Griffith Observatory. This is where Michael Jackson shot his first picture for the Off The Wall album, but it never made it to the cover. $10 an hour parking? What? Michael Jackson liked James Dean and his movie Rebel Without A Cause. He was going for James Dean's iconic look. Michael came around the corner right here, the perfect spot, right here. And if you move a little bit to the right, you actually see the Hollywood sign. So Michael came right here. He was leaning against the wall just like this. And they had to hurry up because they didn't have a permit to shoot the photo. And this is how the photo looks like, just like this. Michael went to the bathroom and changed into his tuxedo. And right here, this is the spot where he was standing. The whole shoot just took five minutes for Michael Jackson, but it never made the cover album. Mike Salisbury said that Michael Jackson just got his driver's license and he came with his own limousine, but he never used to drive a car, so it kind of was beat up a little bit because he was hitting it left and right. And the crazy thing is, nobody knows about this story. People walk by you every day, they have no clue. Right here is where he was standing, and then one leg up like this. I'm just wondering if somebody recognized him while he was taking the picture up there. This was Steve Harvey's photography studio. Now it's the School of Rock. And if you drive down Beverly Boulevard, this is where the Westlake Studios are. Everything is so close to each other. And one day, Mike Salisbury, Steve Harvey and Michael Jackson came to the studio. They had to come up with some kind of idea how to shoot the picture for the cover album off the wall. Mike Salisbury was photographer to the stars. Just to name a few people he took pictures of, Jaja Gabor, Jimi Hendrix, Elvis Presley, Andy Warhol, Tina Turner, Sylvester Stallone, and Bill Cosby. He created over 500 movie posters. E.T., Goonies, Superman, Jurassic Park. He was an icon himself. He did so many brandings for different companies. He was responsible for Michael Jackson's look. 
the white socks and the one glove. Michael Jackson wanted to wear two gloves, but he told him, no, that reminds him too much of Mickey Mouse. That's why he told him just to wear one glove. And they all walked out the back door. Michael Jackson in his loafers and his white socks in his tuxedo crossing the street right here. I'm just wondering if people saw them. They kept walking parallel to Beverly Boulevard. And right here in the alleyway, they're making a right turn. And here it is, the wall. Guys, this is it. This is the wall right here where Michael Jackson stood 40 years ago for his cover album, Off the Wall, kind of like this. Right here, this is where the window used to be. They kind of changed it up a little bit. They fixed up the wall. But right here is where he was standing 40 years ago. Look at those two different pictures. This is at the observatory where Michael Jackson stood really cool, but he was not smiling at all. And this picture is the original cover shot where he's smiling, he has a really cool pose. Now you know why they choose this cover album instead of this cover album. We're here to celebrate Michael Jackson's 40 years anniversary of the cover album Off The Wall. On August 10, 1979, this cover was released and it was produced by Quincy Jones with Epic Records. This is so cool. When you open it up, all the lyrics of all the songs are on the cover of the album. Believe it or not, this was the best selling album in the 80s. This was Michael Jackson's fifth solo album. And this was a really, really big step in his career because after this, he was the king of pop. I have to apologize that I didn't do the vlog in August because I was shooting three videos for Michael Jackson's birthday. So I apologize that I have to release this video so late. Happy anniversary. This is how crazy it is. People walk by here every day. They have no clue. This is the wall for the album Off The Wall. Why is there not a plaque somewhere where it says, this is the wall where Michael Jackson stood? Quincy Jones saw Michael Jackson while he was filming The Wiz and they became really good friends. Look how cool this is. This is cut out by laser on an original LP. And I got another one. The album was nominated for two Grammys and Michael Jackson won his first Grammy for best R&B local performance for the song Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. More than 20 million albums were sold worldwide. I don't wanna leave. I'm standing here, I'm standing here, I'm looking. A lot of stuff is going through my head. It's a really cool feeling to be here, to know this is the spot for the iconic cover album. If you think about it, the video, don't stop until you get enough, it's a little bit cheesy. But you have to remember that was 40 years ago. This wall is history. You guys, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up to keep you in the loop for my next video. And this is it. Now I gotta get off the wall. <laughs> hey, I'm getting better and better. <laughs>